Art in the 1950s by Devin Bush There was a fresh artistic outlook after World War II ended, and the artistic world reflected this outlook. Abstract expressionists like Jackson Pollock, Barnett Newman, William D. Cooney, Clifford Still, and Franz Kahn received official recognition at the New York Museum of Modern Art. Abstract artists rebelled against the self-absorption of New York schools. Mark Rothko used large-scale colored blocks to create an overpowering material presence. Painters like Robert Rashenberg and Jasper Johns, also abstract artists, did not want the viewers to rely on what he saw to interpret a painting. African-American artists John T. Biggers, Romare Bearden, and Henry Clay Anderson presented a different view of American life. Pop art was first used by the English critic Lawrence Alloway in a 1958 issue of Architectural Digest to describe those paintings that celebrate post-war consumerism. Defy the psychology of abstract expressionism and worship of the god of materialism, the most famous of pop artists, the cult figure Andy Warhol, recreated photographic paintings of people or everyday objects because everything is beautiful. Pop art is everything. Here are a few examples of artwork from the 1950s. Moving on to culture in the 1950s. During the 1950s, a sense of uniformity pervaded American society. Conformity was common as young and old alike followed group norms rather than striking out on their own. Though men and women had been forced into new employment patterns during World War II, once the war was over, traditional rules were reaffirmed. Men expected to be the family providers. Women, even when they did work, assumed their proper place was at home. Musicians and artists rebelled as well. Tennessee singer Elvis Presley popularized black music in the form of rock and roll and shocked America with his ducktail haircut and undailing hips. In addition, Elvis and other rock and roll singers demonstrated that there was a white audience for black music, thus testifying to increasing integration of American culture. There were also many types of slang in the 1950s. For example, squares, which means common people, rebel, which means an outgoing person, pops, which means someone's father, tight, which means cool, threads, which is clothing, big daddy, which refers to an older person, and kill, which means cool. African Americans challenged prejudice in the United States in the 1950s. Many African Americans fought for equal rights, including Martin Luther King Jr. African-American man and Nobel Peace Prize winner, one of the principal leaders of American civil rights movement and a prominent advocate of nonviolent protest, King's challenges to segregation and racial discrimination in the 1950s and 60s helped convince many white Americans to support the cause of civil rights in the United States. After his assassination in 1968, King became a symbol of protest and a struggle for racial justice.